Blessed be everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about the Tower card, but before we do, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com, author of Crafting a Wiccan Path and Tapping into Abundance. And if you want to know more about Wicca and Witchcraft and Shadow Work and Tarot now, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. If you want to know where to start your witchcraft practice, but you just don't really know, it's all a bit too confusing out there, take a look at my free video how to start your witchcraft practice. The link is in the description field below this video. Today I wanted to talk about the tower. The reason is because there is a request for me to talk about the tower card. So hence the reason why we have another kind of icky card to have a look at today. But we talk a lot about shadow work on this channel. So the tower is the perfect card for introducing you to shadow work. You may be forced into shadow work as a result of uh, what's going on in your life that this card is representing. There's a lot going on in this card. Essentially a lot of the meanings associated with this card is to do with destruction of some sort, things falling apart, uh, a fall from grace, uh, disillusion of something, uh, you see, can see from the picture on this particular card, which is from the Waite Smith deck, we have a tower, an edifice that is, has been struck by lightning and people falling out to the ground and there's a lot of destruction happening. So it's the destruction of structures. So it could be the destruction of uh, corporations, uh, businesses, uh, governments, world, leaders, it could be the destruction on a more personal level, so it could be the destruction of a relationship, uh, financial uh, destruction, it could be health related, anything where something is being torn apart, pulled apart, that you thought was solid, that you thought was a permanent solid structure, just as this tower here is in the card. And this card reminds us that nothing in this 3D reality is permanent. There is no such thing as permanence. Everything is in flux. Everything is changing. Even this card is changing as I hold it here. It is not the solid object that we perceive it to be. It is actually vibration and it's changing. It will disintegrate one day. It will fall apart and not be this card uh, one day and that's the truth for anything in this 3d reality it's not going to stay the same and when we see this card in a reading we're reminded of that it has generally really negative associations because let's face it anything that's being destroyed unexpectedly which generally it's not expected sometimes it can be but generally it's not expected. Anything that's sort of been torn down that we thought was solid and then it's just suddenly torn down uh, can be a real shock. It's hard to deal with things on an emotional level when it's like that. This card can be quite traumatic. It can, it can mean that some really big shocks coming into your life. I've had this card uh, turn up for me. Even if it's kind of a welcome thing, when I was um, made redundant in my corporate job this card was coming up a lot and even though on one hand it was a feeling of excitement to leave that corporate environment because I did not like it I didn't like doing what I was doing on the other hand it was also incredibly frightening because it meant I had to step up into really trying to do something I really wanted to do it was an opportunity that was opening up for me and I had been working on that from an unconscious uh, perspective, putting it out there to the universe unconsciously that I did actually want this, this change. So that's an example of how it's turned up for me in the past. A lot of the imagery here can symbolize what area uh, you may be looking at or what may be falling apart, depending on what you're drawn to when you're doing the reading, either for yourself or someone else. You may find that with the tarot cards, if you're using a different deck, it's going to give you a, a different interpretation of the card. Sometimes you may find that one day you're really drawn to one particular aspect of the card and then another time for another person that you might be reading for, you're drawn to another aspect of the card. 
and that's just the card's way of telling you a little bit more about what it's meaning specifically on that day for you or uh, for the person that you're reading for. We have the solid structure of the tower symbolizing something that's solid, something that felt solid, something that you thought was solid being struck down by lightning. So this could mean that some enlightenment is striking something down, something that you thought you knew, something that you thought was solid. You have like an aha moment or something happens through maybe doing shadow work or maybe doing uh, divination where you just get this aha and you suddenly see the truth for what it is and it kind of tears down this structure of maybe a relationship or a job or, or something that you weren't really seeing before that maybe was an illusion before because this can be a false structure as well. It can be something that we perceive to be real when it's not and because of impermanence and we know that nothing is as it seems then it being struck down can simply mean that what you thought was something actually isn't that at all. It's, it's something else. And you're now ready to see it. You're now ready to face it, as difficult as that may be. It can also mean a fall from grace. We've got here uh, what looks like uh, a king uh, with uh, one of the falling figures here. So it could be a fall from grace. So it could be losing status in some way. It could be something that you're involved in that's losing status. You might be involved in a particular uh, organization that's losing its status. You may find that maybe something that you believed in that had high status for you suddenly has uh, no longer has that high status anymore. Maybe some truths have come out about uh, an organization or an individual even that you put on a pedestal and then you realize that at the end of the day they're not the perfect people or the perfect organization that you thought that they were. It can even mean that you're falling from uh, putting yourself on a pedestal. It can mean realizing that you may have been in your ego and maybe connecting or really believing in an ideology that you no longer believe in anymore or an ideology that you believed in is exposed and you realize that hey you know that's not what I thought it was or when you try to put that ideology into practice it doesn't work which most ideologies don't when you put them into practice that's why they're ideas ideology that it could be a realization of that you've got the crown at the top here of the tower which again can be something falling from grace, something that you held in that sort of acclaim suddenly being toppled by some truth, um, some enlightened information that you've obtained and that just all comes crashing down. It could even mean a position that you hold in a job or something like that, or it could be something else that you admire. Crowns generally in tower symbolize that connection to the divine. So it could simply be that what you thought was a divine connection wasn't in the end. It may, may have been more of an ego connection and you thought it was divine and it turned out not to be. It's night time. You've got the black background so it's dark, it's night time. So you, you are in the sense of seeing um, something being hidden coming to light because you've got the, the lightning and you've got also the yods uh, coming down from the the lightning striking the edifice. You have a lot of blue on the figures in the cards, so that would indicate that there's a, an emotional element to this, of course, and that the emotions are kind of like falling. So you're, you're finding that the emotional um, trauma of the event is, is kind of um, falling with you, that you're falling. So you may feel like literally that you're falling and you don't know whether you're going to get caught or not, whether there's going to be a soft place to land, you, you don't know where you're falling. That can certainly be an aspect of the tower on an emotional level. 
But the thing to remember with the tower is that with, with this sort of destruction, if you're using it as a tool for shadow work, you can take this as an opportunity, essentially. It may be a change you're wanting, but it's still scary uh, to experience it. Like myself with the redundancy, it was something that I really wanted, yet at the time it happened, I felt I, I, it was too early. It's too early, I've, give me another year, give me another year, then it'll be okay. But you know, the universe has other plans and when we're ready, we're ready. Even if we feel we're not ready for a change like this, we are. And we don't really experience anything we can't handle uh, if we are doing this sort of work, the shadow work. We get, we receive what we're, we're ready to face and what we're ready to deal with when we're on this path. You can't avoid that when you're on the magical path. Uh, life, your higher self will throw curved balls at you and these tower moments will happen so when you get this card in your own reading it's an opportunity to go okay I might need to do some shadow work I might need to face something that really terrifies me there's a big life change coming my way which has the potential to bring really positive things if I navigate it in a way that is psychologically healthy if I'm if I take control of my my own uh, path if I can nurture myself if I can heal if I can get the assistance that I might need to get through this time because you may need other people to help then the tower can be uh, an awakening literally an enlightening <laughs> in your life and that can be a wonderful thing it can be something that can eventually bring in some beautiful change the card in the tarot pack after the tower is the star so the star is all about wishes coming true and about divine uh, guidance and divine intervention and trusting in the divine uh, energy of the universe and so the tower can be something that has to happen before you can experience the wish fulfilled before you can experience what it is that you really really want some old edifices need to come down. If you've got these dreams and these goals of something that is really quite different to how you've experienced life in the past, then you probably do need to ex experience some really major changes in your life that could be quite emotionally traumatic in order to get to that wonderful, wondrous thing that you are wanting because it's a you've got to make these steps along the way and you have to be the person that has those things that has that life and you may not be that person right now because of programming and beliefs and so the tower can be an, a wake-up call to what you need to change within yourself in order to be that person who has those things and has that life so it can be very powerful in that respect it has a positive meaning as well as negative. The blockages with this card can simply be that you're not accepting the change, you're in denial of it, and so you're blocking the change, which is just going to prolong the trauma. And if the, I find personally that when it's upright, that it's flowing more, the energy's flowing a little bit better, uh, the fall to the ground. Uh, the interesting thing about it when it's in reverse is you've actually kind of got them flying upwards. It's almost like they're flying <laughs> uh, upwards in some way. So the, the reversed meaning of the tarot can be depending on how you look at it. Some people see it as a blockage to the energy so that if it, the tower is reversed, you're refusing to deal with the change. I, can't, I like the idea of seeing these people actually flying upwards. So instead of falling to the ground and not knowing whether there's a soft place to land once they fall, this is more of a flight upwards and the energy is coming from the bottom up, which is propelling one upwards. So it could mean, it could mean an escape if you're looking at it that way. The key with reading it is how does it feel in relationship to the other cards in the reading? How does it feel to you intuitively when you're reading it? 
as to what the meaning might be for yourself on that day or for the person that you're reading for. But just know that the tarot, the tower card is, is a tough card, certainly, but it won't show up until you're really ready to, to uh, face whatever it is that's being torn down, that's being dismantled, until you're ready to have the enlightened awakening uh, to something and able to then look at what remains and rebuild and go back to what is it I really want. Obviously this structure, whatever it is in, in your life, whether it's a relationship, whether it's your health or whether it's money or it's disillusionment with another party, there's, there's life continues. It, life never stops. So what opportunities are there in the rubble of this? What is your dream? How do you get to the star? Uh, what is the, the dream? What is the desire? What is it that you really want? Because now that the old has been nuked, basically, there can only be something new that can come out of that. So focus on what you do have and what you can do in order to get yourself out of the tower moment. But at the same time, allow yourself to heal allow yourself to spend time pondering and meditating, allow yourself to transition uh, to a new way of being, give yourself space or give another person space if it's happening for them and go easy on yourself and at the same time connect to to that divine energy um, because a lot of this this lightning bolt is coming from above which in the tarot generally symbolizes spirit or the divine. So it's coming from above. It's some divine force, which everything really is in the end, uh, that's actually breaking down this situation. And if you look at it that way, it gives you more power. It gives you more sense of confidence about the future and helps you know that if this destruction is coming from some, either from my higher self or from some divine force from the universe, maybe from, from something I've put out there um, from a law of attraction point of view or from a magical point of view, then I also have the ability to be able to draw on that same force to be able to get me through it. And that's your opportunity then to become closer to your spirituality and to magic and to however you perceive spirit to be. Uh, or even if you don't perceive it as spirit necessarily, trusting in that, that divine wisdom of your higher self or, or whatever it is to be able to get you through it and then working with that to get you to the star because that's what the star is all about. So let me know in the comments field how you dealt with tower moments in the past because I'd love to know how you deal with your tower moments and how you feel when you see the tower tower pop up in a reading uh, for yourself particularly because we tend to react more for when it's for ourselves and if you want to learn witchcraft with me take a look at the mystery witch school 101 course we do basic witchcraft and wicker training in that course to get you practicing the craft so this gets you practicing you may know the theory it's pretty easy to know the theory because there's heaps of books on it but the hardest thing in the whole wide world for anything, including even tarot reading, is to practice. It's actually to get down there and do it rather than just reading about it. We pagans just love our books. We love reading. And that's great because uh, it gives us a lot of knowledge and it also gives us um, a fun pastime, particularly if we're introverts. But it's not going to give us the actual experience, which gives us the intuition, which gives us the, the strength and resilience to survive these tower moments and gives us the skills and magic to be able to help and assist us to take action during these tower moments. And that's what the craft really is about. It's getting in there and practicing. So if you want to get in there and practice your craft, take a look at the Mystery Witch School 101 Academy. The link is in the description field below this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I thank you all for watching the video this far and uh, I'll see you on the next video.